What is up YouTube? Ryan back today with another sports card video. I've had a lot of people requesting in the comments that we talk about Bowman Draft and I am going to bring you guys the top 10 players to look for when opening the product. So that's exactly what we're going to do today guys. We're talking about Bowman Draft and the top 10 prospects that you can pull so what i'm going to be doing you guys is one through ten we're going to go from lowest to highest for the top 10 prices on base autos and the reason i'm doing that is because a it shows who's hyped up in the product who do you want to see pulled that you know if you do open the product you can try to make some money back or be happy that you hit a good player good prospect two because the list of hyped up players based on price, those are some of the players that you're gonna to wanna to collect. Those are the hyped up players. So like if you see some of these guys that you like, buy their base cards, buy their refractors, stuff like that, because they're gonna be the hyped up players in this product. And if they end up performing well, their prices are gonna skyrocket compared to the lower end prospects that might be lower in the farm systems that might take a while for any kind of price jump because some guys take longer than others before they actually get recognized. These guys are going to be ones that are already recognized. So yeah, very straightforward video. I'm just going to go one through 10. And then at the end, you guys, I have two low buy prospects from this product that I really like. And I wanted to just put my opinion out there a little bit. So let's do this thing. Before we jump into the video, if you guys like this video, love Bowman draft like I do. Please give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate that a lot. Let's do it. First player up, Garrett Mitchell for the Milwaukee Brewers, you guys, out of UCLA. Five-tool player. Not sure how he dropped to, I think, the 18th pick or 19th pick. I was really mad that my D-backs didn't draft him because I really like Garrett Mitchell. His base auto is selling for $95, and I think that's a great starting point in a top 10 video because that means there's nine more players with base autos that sell for $100 pretty much, which is amazing. I think that's oh, that's awesome for a product, and that's why I love Bowman Draft. Second up, we have Jordan Walker, the Cardinals' first round pick. The dude is like 6'5", 220. He's a third baseman. He's out of high school. I can see exactly why he is priced so well. There's only a few high school bats worth really noting in the draft i felt like and jordan walker is definitely one of those guys who could project very well base auto which is a redemption in this product so if you see a redemption you want to look for this name 100 dollars. number three on the list you guys pete crow armstrong for the new york mets another high school bat one of the few that had some hype in this draft 110 dollars for his base auto love to see it Another high school bat, you guys, Austin Hendricks for the Cincinnati Reds. If you look up on YouTube, he has a video of him taking BP in the Cubs stadium, and it's really impressive. He has a ton of power. He probably has the most power for a high school player in this draft, arguably. So Austin Hendricks, he's another redemption in this product, $125 for his base auto. Another huge high school name with a ton of power and a lot of upside that you want to look for when you open up Bowman Draft. We're going to keep it rolling with the high school players, you guys. And Robert Hassel is selling for $150 on his base auto. Plays for the San Diego Padres. And honestly, he might be the most complete high school player in this draft. I know there's it's high school. There's a lot of people are going to argue that with me. But Robert Hassel seems like he has it all. He's not a huge power bat, which is the only downside. But I could 100%, if he pans out, he could be the leadoff hitter for the Padres. I could see it be him, C.J. Abrams, and Tatis just leading the way for the Padres in the future. But he's really fast. He plays really good defense, and the dude straight up rakes. Robert Hassel was also the first high school player drafted. Next up, Zach Veen, Colorado Rockies, and he might be the best peer hitter in the draft from a high school player standpoint. He has a ton of power. He hits really well for average. The dude has a crazy work ethic. He doesn't even play video games, which is weird in this in 2020 but his base auto is selling for 168 dollars he was the direct next pick behind robert hassel so a lot of hype behind zach veen playing in colorado high elevation people are really excited for zach veen next up nick gonzalez out of new mexico dude is an absolute star he was a walk-on which was crazy and then just absolutely exploded in college was one of the best players in college for the past couple years 
Really, really great player. I like Nick Gonzalez a lot. His base auto is selling for $185, and for good reason. The dude just, just knows how to hit, and we'll see if he can continue to do that at the pro level. Number eight, you guys, Heston Kierstad. I hope I said that right. His base auto selling for $240. He was actually the second pick in the draft behind Spencer Torkelson, which I think threw everyone for a loop. Someone from my stream is actually a huge Arkansas fan, and he was telling me about Heston for the last couple of years, how good he is. And before the season got cut short, he was the front runner for Golden Cleats and was absolutely killing the ball. And I think that's why he ended up getting drafted higher than people ex initially expected. But $240 for a base auto is fantastic. Number nine on the list, Ed Howard, Chicago Cubs. Another high school guy. This is the highest priced high school player, which I found surprising. I do think Ed Howard is a very good draft pick. I like the pick a lot for the Cubs. Has a lot of upside to him. But I think his market is a little inflated because he's on the Cubs. $300 for his base auto when he was, I think, the third or fourth high school player drafted is weird to me when the other one's only selling for like $150. But it is the Cubs. There's crazy Cubs fans. They'll pay a premium for the cards they want. And I think that's why it's selling at $300. But nonetheless, $300 for a base auto of a high school player is unheard of and amazing if you end up pulling Ed Howard. And last but not least, you guys, and this is why I wore my hat today. Anytime I can wear ASU, I wear ASU when it's relevant in a video. Spencer Torkelson, I'm sure you guys all expected this. Number one overall pick. Dude is the best hitter I've ever seen at the college level, straight up. His base cards are selling for $300. I think it's well worth it. I I need to buy one, and I just can't get myself to do it because of that price. I wish he would have got drafted like in the second round because I would have been all in on Torkelson on, on his PC because I'm trying to PC him. I just can't afford him. So he is the highest-priced base card. He's obviously someone that you want to look for. If you pull a numbered auto of his, a numbered card of his, you're going to probably come close to making your money back on the box if you pull his base auto you're making your money back on the box it's about a 300 dollars box so so spencer torkelson the top prospect to have in bowman draft this year i think there's huge things for him i think he's gonna be accelerated to the pros i'm really excited to see what he does in the 2021 season because we might see him get rushed to the major leagues really fast if he shows he's ready because he went through college he's a little bit older than normal and the tigers want all they can get out of him. So I'm excited for Torkelson and we'll see how he does in 2021. But he's the number one prospect in Bowman draft and number one on this video. So now we're going to talk about two players that I think are budget buys. And I'm honestly shocked their their cards are as cheap as they are. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of these two players. I just wanted to put my opinion out there a little bit. This video is mostly just straight up facts based on price. I want to have my opinion just a little bit because... Making a top 10 prospect video of players I think you should collect is, I don't think it's efficient for the hobby. Like, I don't think every one of these players is going to pan out. It's just not how baseball works. So I didn't want to do that. I kind of already did it in draft on my favorite players. So, and most of them are, are all those guys that we just talked about. So these are two players that I think are undervalued. And I'm really confused, honestly, on why their stuff's so cheap. Let's do it. The first one, you guys, Nick Bitsko. Honestly, he's like my favorite pitcher in the first round that got drafted. He was the first round draft pick out of the Rays. I remember when they talked about him, he pretty much got his hype from Zoom videos of him throwing and showing how hard he was throwing. And he, he can hit triple digits. He throws gas. The real reason why I like Nick Bitsko the most, you guys, though, is because he has an effortless delivery. He throws gas and... He's in the Rays organization, which I think is massive because if you guys look at the Rays organization the past years, every pitcher seems to be extremely good, even at the MLB level. They have the top rotation in the MLB the past like couple years, I feel like. They have just stars, and they're not even paying for them. They have cheap players that they're turning into absolute studs. Tyler Glasnow, for, for instance, was not that great with the Pirates. Goes over to the Rays. I remember, I can't remember exactly who it is, but it was their double A pitching coach, and they moved him up to the pros. And ever since that, like their staff has been amazing. Like that dude's a magic worker. So I cannot wait to see what he does with Nick Bitsko. He has a live arm. $18 for a base auto. I think there's a lot of upside with this. I know he's a pitcher, and pitchers are hard to invest in, but under $20, I'm definitely picking up one of these for sure. And the last player, and I wanted to just do a little more biased stuff on on ASU, because why not? 
Trevor Haver, he was the second round pick for the Yankees, you guys. Base auto selling for $12. He was the leadoff hitter at ASU in 2019. And he was amazing. It like 13 home runs in the leadoff spot. So he has power. He's a lefty. I'm very impressed with Trevor Haver, honestly. Like Spencer Torkelson was the best college hitter I've ever seen. But Trevor Haver, you guys, honestly, like he's just like a step below Spencer Torkelson. He has it all. He has great plate discipline. He's a really good hitter, squares up the ball a lot, plays decent defense. And the one thing that's interesting for me, because he played outfield his entire time with ASU, he's actually listed as a second baseman and an outfielder. So if he ends up playing second base and has power at Yankee Stadium, like if he makes it to the pros, I think he's going to explode at that in that sandbox, that tiny field in New York. I like Trevor Haver a lot, a lot. I really do. He did struggle in the Cape Cod League. I will say that that's the only negative side of things. That's the only time you say it would bat at like a really high level. So I'm curious to see what he does in 2021. If he has any type of success in 2021, I think Trevor, I'm going all in on him. I'm telling you right now, I'm going all in on Trevor Haver if he has success in 2021. But yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know what you guys think, especially of those last two guys, because I think they're great budget buys, like under $20 in 2020 for a first Bowman Auto. Heck yeah. All day, every day, especially if one of them is a hitter that I'm telling you, I really do like Trevor Haver. I think he's like, he was a lot of fun to watch at ASU. I watch him a lot with Torkelson. Dude's a stud. But yeah, guys, as always, if you guys liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You guys have a great rest of your day. I appreciate you guys for watching as always. See ya.